Well, hello, Shoreline Church and, and, and other folks that maybe you go to another congregation, but you follow these devotionals. It's so good to be with you. Now, James continues to talk about wisdom, but this is where he really leans into it. So this is kind of the conclusion of this section of James, chapter 3, that really, really digs deep into wisdom. So here's how we finish up in verses 17 and 18 of James 3. But the wisdom that comes from heaven, not this worldly wisdom, but the wisdom that comes from heaven, is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Man, there's a lot here. What is James saying? He's talked about this wisdom that comes from the world, how it creates disorder and all kinds of evil. But there's a wisdom that comes from above. The book of Proverbs is a great book to dig into when you need to grow in heavenly wisdom. All the Bible is, it holds the wisdom of God. But, but think about this. James says the kind of wisdom we're talking about, the kind of wisdom that comes from God, is pure. There's a purity of truth. It leads to a pure life. It's peace-loving. Does the wisdom, does your way of thinking and how you view the world lead to peaceful relationships or conflict? If it comes from God, it's going to lead to peace in your relationships. It's considerate. We live in a radically inconsiderate world. But when you walk in wisdom, you become considerate of others. Even when you disagree with them, you show a graciousness. It's submissive to God and to people who have wisdom that we can learn from. It's full of mercy. If you walk in the wisdom of God, you overflow with mercy. Good fruit, true wisdom brings fruitfulness in your life and blessing to others. It's impartial. True wisdom isn't... uh, isn't looking at other people and treating them unfairly. It's impartial. We're not prejudiced, but we give people a chance. That's what wisdom leads us to. It's sincere. There's an authenticity to it. Let's pray together and ask that that kind of wisdom, biblical, heavenly, godly wisdom, will lead us to become the kind of people he wants us to be. Lord, as we wrap up this month, a month on each of these four devotionals, thinking about your wisdom, May your heavenly wisdom fill our minds, fill our hearts, and transform our lives, that we might live like Jesus and shine his light wherever we go. We pray this in his name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you. Again, if you're part of the Shoreline community, online services this Sunday and on campus, indoor and outdoor, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll see you Sunday. God bless you.